Our life requires energy. It's that simple. When it's lacking, you don't get what you want done in a day and you end up stuck in really stressful situations. Your body becomes out of shape and when it's severely lacking, you can end up with a number of debilitating diseases. And what Bioenergetics is, is the detection and correction and also the study of energy in living systems. And it's really looking at how your cells, body and environment exchange energy. And Bioenergetics also looks at this energy exchange in a hierarchy of importance so that it's able to enhance your health so that you have abundant energy for life. Now, as we start to look at the body as an energy transferring system, we begin to realize that wherever there is energy moving, which is absolutely everywhere, energetic fields are created. So for instance, if we look at our nervous system, our brain and our heart, these all continuously emit electromagnetic fields. And even DNA itself has been shown to emit biophotons, or in other words, light. Now these fields can now be detected using modern technology, which confirms what the ancients always knew. And this really is what we call the energetic field of the body, or the body field. Now you're probably wondering, what is the function of the body field? And can it help to explain some of the big questions in biology and life itself? Have you ever stopped to wonder, how do your trillions of cells know precisely what to do? And how do you know who is calling you before you even look at the phone? What is consciousness and the mind-body connection? And how do Eastern energy medicine and other ancient therapies actually work? Now this is because our body fields are typically invisible to the naked eye. And mainstream science over the past century, it focused on biochemistry, genetics, and everything that could be seen. But now what we're coming to recognize is the implications of the invisible fields which are emitted unseen by things like cell phones, microwaves and radios. But not only that, they're emitted by your body and can be detected and corrected too. Now if we look at life as a great energy exchange system, there's really a few things that, that are going on. So if we just look at ourselves and how we interact with energy outside of ourselves, there's a few things that are probably fairly apparent. Uh, number one, that we eat food, and that food is turned into a source of energy inside ourselves, and we also excrete that afterwards and put uh, energy back into the earth. We're also breathing in oxygen and breathing out carbon dioxide, so there's an exchange of, of energy there. And it's a very, very important exchange of energy because actually oxygen um, is responsible for more than 90% of the energy that's actually in your system. There's also sunlight. If you stand outside, you also are able to be recharged through the sun. And it's sort of a form of, form of photosynthesis in how light is able to hit structured water, which it is able to convert photons into electrons in your mitochondria, which basically give you a source of energy. And not only that, you can actually also get electrons straight from the earth if you take your shoes off and go barefoot in some nice wet sand or swim in the ocean, you're instantly in Earth's electrons. And also the whole earth has, a, has an overall magnetic field, which also has a recharging effect on you. Now, this really is what we call um, the source of energy or like the various sources of energy into your body which is a very important part of bioenergetics and is the first screen that we have in the system. Now after that we also look at the strength of your energy or in other words we're now we're now going to go and look inside inside the body and actually look at the fields or the energy fields that are being formed by all of your different organ systems so for instance your heart, your nervous system, uh, these are all producing fields and overall each and every organ is producing what, what we call your overall body field and the stronger that body field is generally the more healthier the healthier you are and these fields can be detected with the, with the thumb scanner that, that you have uh, and they can also be corrected through the pharmaceuticals and uh, perhaps the My Health if you have that. Now, not only that, energy also flows through your body and traditionally we, we see this as the Chinese meridian system. Um, in, in our mess world, we call these the energetic integrators. But really, for, for the sake of it, we only really need to think of energy as flowing across the body 
And if there's any blocks in that energy flow, and you, know, you can get energy blocks from perhaps you might have an injury, perhaps you haven't ex exercised or ever done yoga, so you, know, you, have, you have really tight, tight muscles, or there might be organ damage, or you know, all sorts of things can block the energy flow in the body, which can also, if energy isn't flowing properly, it isn't just energy that flows, uh, it's also information. And if there's a distortion or a block in the information or the communication system of the body, uh, then your body's control system, which is, in other words, the body field, can start to go wrong, um, and that can also manifest in, in all sorts of health problems. So really, fundamentally, you know, we're, we're trying to do three things. Increase the source of energy into the body and recommend where there may be any fault faults or problems with the sources of energy into their body. Uh, we're also looking at how uh, energy is generated within, within the body, which is what we call the energetic drivers, in other words, the strength of the energy. And then we're also looking at the flow of energy in the system. And if you get all of these three things right, then optimal wellness is possible. Now, for those of you that like to geek out on physics, it's always good to go back to Albert Einstein. Now, what Albert Einstein said is he said that the field is the sole governing agency of the particle. And what he meant by that is that the invisible forces, i.e. the field, they're actually responsible for shaping the material world. To put it another way, is the particle can't exist in a certain place without fields actually dictating where that particle should be. And you can also take it a step further and say, really, the particle isn't even there at all. It's actually just fields that really hold the fundamental structure or fabric of our overall reality. Now, let's just go a bit further. I mean, he's got many famous equations, and one of his other ones is E equals mc squared. Now, what does that tell us? It basically says that matter and energy are equivalent. But energy itself is not enough to account for what causes matter to be organized and also how it's directed to be. Now, it's actually the energy field that directs energy. Otherwise, matter and energy would be in total chaos. So in a way, we can rewrite this equation to say that matter is actually information structured energy. And it's the information field that prescribes the pattern and function and organization of the parts of the system into an ordered whole. Now, another way to say this is that it's energy through information that instructs each and every cell in your body what to do. Now, we've created the most extensive proprietary mapping of the human body field available anywhere. Now, not only does our system detect issues in the body field, it also provides a correction protocol to realign and repair the body field. And those recommendations are broken down into those three main energetic systems, source, strength, and flow. As we mentioned, source relates to diet, hydration, movement, oxygenation, circadian rhythms, alignment, and Earth's big fields and grounding. Strength relates to the energization and the overall strength and operating performance of the body field and flow, the pathways that energy and information flow throughout the body. 